Hi everybody, it's Bill Corbett and we are back at Shiro of Japan, but this time we're at Shiro of Japan at Atlas Park in Glendale, Queens. This is uh, Shiro's second restaurant, opened about 15 years ago. It's right in the heart of Queens in Glendale. Uh, they've been serving up hibachi, sushi, and lots of great meals here for quite a long time. They got a great following. And today on Sit Down at Shiro, I'm joined by Milo the Cat, AKA Adam Schlaghorn. Adam, good to see you, you again too. today. How's it going? Going great. So you are a YouTube and Instagram whiz. You have hundreds of thousands of followers, people, millions of people. How many millions of people? Of views? Have seen your views of your videos. I estimate around 400 million. 400 million. That might be low. It might be more like five okay. or maybe more. Don't it be modest. Be. Yeah, no, 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 it might be. I, and, I really uh, don't know. So we have, um, you're a YouTube whiz. We're going to talk a little bit today about marketing and a little bit about YouTube and video sure. and why it's important. But do you like sushi? Love sushi. Okay, so we're, we we're just uh, going to take a minute over here. We're going to talk to Davey, the uh, sushi chef, and uh, he's going to show us some of the things and we're going to sample it. Yeah, talk I'm curious a to see him make it. Absolutely. Great. And try a, little, try a little bit, talk a little about business and what people can do to be better on Instagram, the market themselves and their businesses. Sure. Sound good? Yeah. Sound good. So let's go to the sushi bar and check it out. Okay, so we brought back some great sushi and sashimi uh, from the sushi bar. We had Davey put some stuff together. It was fantastic. Now, I'll start off with what we have here is our black dragon roll. The black dragon roll was created by Hiro Ishikawa oh, 25, 30 years ago. It's got avocado. It's got some eel on top, which is cooked. All sushi is not raw. And you know what is on top up here? Uh, it's some type of fish eggs, and you told me four times, but I don't know what type. <laughs> it's, it's flying fish okay. roe. It's the orange. And then inside is jake, which is chopped up shrimp wrapped in mayonnaise, mixed with mayonnaise, right? On our sashimi plate, we have our tuna, we have our salmon, we have our octopus, our uh, uh, tuna roll, which is similar to your tuna avocado roll, white fish, and a couple of shrimp mixed in. So are you ready to dig in? Let's go. I've now, been waiting. Before we start, are you an adventurous sushi eater? Uh, I'm not. I'm a moderate sushi eater. I'm not as adventurous okay, but, as you. But most of the stuff we have here is, you know, is pretty standard stuff, but it's really good, but it has different textures. It's really good, like the octopus is actually marinated for a couple days and then cooked and sliced mm. very thin. I don't know if you're adventurous to try that, but I love it. And we're gonna dig in here and talk a little bit about business. You ready to go? Can't wait. All right, let's go. So tell me about what's happening in the world of video and uh, you know, Instagram, social media. Uh, you know what? Um, it's constantly changing, as you know. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it really changes pretty much weekly. It, it's like you have to keep up, otherwise forget it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the number one thing, which is which remains constant, is that you need to consistently put out good content. No matter what type of content you're doing, no matter what platform you're doing it on, it has to be consistent, good content. So people, otherwise, who's gonna follow people you? People ask me all the time, how often is consistent? How, how often should it be? It depends posts. the type of content you're doing. I'm doing like, on my Instagram, I'm doing videos that take a lot of time to make that are, you know, very intricate. I'm doing one a day, and that's a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a lot. If someone's just posting like some photos and some marketing type stuff and little bits and pieces here and there. They almost need to post a couple times a day, mm -hmm. but they don't want to overdo it. But they need to kind of frequently get in front of these people that follow them. Otherwise, they're never going to see them. Consistency is important. And what's hot right now? Uh, well, my Instagram page is smoking <laughs> your, your hot. Your personal right now. Instagram page, is hot. yeah, smoking hot. Yeah. Um, but what's hot right now? Um, it's tough to say. I, I think it's just uh, you know, I think my page is taking off because people are tired of the same old nonsense, and a lot of people do like different versions of the same right. thing. And a lot of marketing companies came in and were like. Oh, this is how you handle a social media account. But every account's different. Every company's different. Right. All content is different. So it has to be a case by case basis. And I think the biggest thing is that these social media companies need to hire more creatives because if you look at this from a total business side or an analytical side, that's not how you create content. There's a place for it, but you need someone to help you create that actual content. Well, thank you for being here with me on a sit down. At Thanks, Chiro. for having me. You know, the restaurant's been around here in Glendale, Queens, for about 15 years. They got great food. They have a great reputation. It's right at the heart of Atlas Park. It's like a little oasis, right? I love it. In over the middle there. of yeah. Queens, and a lot of fun. And uh, we recommend people come down, you know, try the food. And there's a lot here. You have both a sushi bar and a regular bar. You got a 
think, 17 hibachi tables. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we have a nice little patio where uh, I think maybe we, you might take some of this food and go out on the patio and have a, a drink or something. Sounds uh, good Enjoy to me. this yeah. wonderful day. It's nice and warm out here in Queens. And uh, But t tell people what your accounts are, your social media accounts and your YouTube so, channel. I go by the name Milo the Cat mm -hmm. on uh, all social media, really. Um, it was started as a character a right. hundred years ago, basically. I've, I've been on YouTube since 2006. Mm -hmm. So I've evolved a lot. I've changed a lot. I put out a bunch of different content, but that's uh, the name I've stuck with. So it's, it's at Milo the Cat. Yeah, Milo the Cat it's on basically YouTube. Basically, my brand, yeah. and it's. I think it took all these years for people to catch on, but I think people really like the idea yeah. that I'm not one of these in front of the camera personalities. You know, so they you're getting like a special that treat today by yeah. getting Adam I'm, out here. And, so, and I have to ask you. So you have hundreds of millions, maybe as many as 500 million people have seen your videos, right? Yep. And and you won a Webby. A Webby is like, for you people watching, a Webby is like the Academy Awards of web video. How did that make you feel that people have give you affirmation that you're doing amazing stuff? It was, it was unbelievable. And that was like a big thing that I really needed. Um, you know, working on Long Island for many years, people didn't necessarily see my vision mm -hmm. and they didn't really treat me as such. Uh, so winning that Webby and being like accepted by like that next level of people, mm -hmm. It was so, a big deal to me. So it Milo really goes to Manhattan. Me. Milo yeah. goes uptown, you know, to, to get the uh, the accolades and the uh, you know attention that you deserve. So absolutely. Well, we're going to continue our conversation a little bit outside on the patio. We're going to have a, a cocktail and uh, enjoy a little bit of this black dragon roll and enjoy the uh, outdoors here at Shiro of Japan in Glendale, Queens, with Milo the Cat, aka Adam Slaghorn, <laughs> and uh, good friend and uh, video editor, and we'll. We'll see you in a little bit outside and uh, enjoy that weather. Great. Okay, so we're behind the bar here at Shiro of Japan with Elias. How are you? Good to see you. Can you tell us real quick these beautiful drinks you've made? Tokyo Sunset, uh, Tokyo Sunrise, Blue Tokyo, and Chocolate Martini. And Chocolate Martini. Well, these look like wonderful summertime drinks. We're going to go out on the patio and enjoy them. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're now we're out here on the beautiful patio at Shiro of Japan. Atlas Park in Glendale, Queens. It's a fantastic day. It's wonderful. And now we just had our great sushi and you're going to enjoy a blue Tokyo and I'm going to enjoy a Tokyo sunrise that was just made at the bar for us and uh, chat a little bit more and wrap up our conversation with Adam Slaghorn, Milo the Cat, talking about social media and video and enjoy our cocktails. And here's a cheers to you. Thank you cheers for coming to out today. For me. So what do you think about the food here? The food was great. I, I really, I, everything we tried was fantastic. These drinks are great. Can't uh, say enough good things about this place. And uh, it's, it's nice to find this oasis in the middle of Queens on a nice day. You know, you can enjoy yourself outside. It's, it's look, to anyone that's in Queens, they know uh, this place has a parking garage. It, it's <laughs> like, to be able to park your car not on the street is something special. And, and you can get here and you can relax in a cool vibe. There's lots to do here after you have your dinner or your lunch at Shiro Japan. You can walk around, there's a movie theater and there's other places to enjoy and shop. But as we as we wrap up here, do you have any words of advice for people who are doing social media and doing videos? What's the one thing you see people doing wrong? I, the number one thing people do wrong is they post stuff, they post content that they would never consume on their own. Mm -hmm. They post stuff that they would never stop, they would never like, they would never scroll. So they junk would out, never. junk yeah, out. So any of the nonsense that a post just for the sake of posting is not doing you any good. It's got to be something that you would want to consume that someone else would want right. to so consume. You, so we talked about this. You got to be consistent with your message. You yeah. got to do it regularly. You got to provide the content that that you would like and the, what other people would like, and just and put it out on a regular basis so that people have a consistent message. Did I get it right? Yep. Okay. Well, Adam, you've had 500 million people watch your videos. You had a nice lunch here today at, at uh, Shiro of Japan with some sushi, sashimi. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Again, here's cheers to you. Cheers to you. And we'll see you online. Okay. And thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time on Sit Down at Shiro.